when employing new employee and letting them exit a company an organized procedure should be followed it's vital to make sure that new recruiters are informed and have copies of specified license on the other hand of boarding is a final step in an employee's life cycle and the process that leads to the formal separation between an employee and company through resignation termination or retirement so let's see how can we set onboarding and offboarding in order 16 employee module for that you can just get into the employee module and under the configuration menu you would be able to see the onboarding or offboarding plans under the activity plans so here you can see that we have already configured uh, the onboarding and offboarding with uh, its step counts and department if you want to create a new one you can create so let me choose the configured one right now here so let's choose onboarding so we can uh, see that onboarding is the process of hiring an employee and in that case we need to keep the records of the employee all the license all we need to keep all other certificates and we can also set the department over here so let me choose the department as sales so this onboarding is doing for the department sales and here we can see the activities to generate while onboarding an employee so here i have set three uh, activities so the first activity is uh, of the type as to do and we can uh, choose different activity type that can be email call meeting or we can set it as to do reminder or apply documents or request for signature and i have set here the summary as setting up the it materials which means while we on board an employee we need to set up the it materials and here we can see the company field uh, and the zone boarding belongs to the company my company is san francisco and the responsible person is manager and the manager need to immediately set up the it materials and you can save this after that you can see the plan training and here you can see that the activity type is uh, to do and uh, we will be after uh, hiring the employee the next step is to plan training uh, so we need to schedule the uh, yeah training plan and set it for the employee and that will be also done by the manager and you can save the uh, onboarding activity that is generated and the final one is training so the training will be uh, going for uh, the employee so you can set the onboarding phase as a uh, responsible will be employee and you can set the activity type as to do or the activity you can choose it from the list and the summary we can set it as of training as you can see finally the responsible person will be the employee and you can save the changes so after uh, hiring the employee we will be going through all these activities once all these activities uh, are done the employee will be uh i mean from the trainee uh, the on board or the hired uh, employee will be set to be a permanent employee and you can also set an offboarding so while offboarding also we need to uh, perform a certain procedure which means uh, the employee can be offboard uh, due to many reasons that can be uh, separation that, that is a separation between the employee and the company Uh, that might be through a res resignation or a termination or retirement so in such cases we need to collect back all the uh, companies as it's from the employee such as uh, we need to get the it materials from the employee uh, and that will be collected by the manager and uh, yeah here let me clear this film mistake okay compute uh, out the details and you can save that and uh, we can uh, take all other records that is the company properties uh, from the employees uh, to the uh, company back so this is what the onboarding and offboarding does now let's see how can we manage the onboarding and offboarding in odoo 16 employee module for that you can choose an employee from the employees tab um here i'm going to choose the employee as abigail peterson and in order to do the onboarding first we need to set the related user under the hr settings so here you need to consider the working mail of the employee 
So let me copy uh, this and under the HR settings, you would be able to see a field called related user where you need to set the related user. So here you can create a user, which is Abigail Peterson. So let me uh, set that name. And you can just create and edit that. And here you also need to set the uh, mail of the employee. So which is mandatory. And after that, you can just save and close this. So once you uh, set the related user, make sure that you have set the manager and coach. So as you choose the manager, the coach will be automatically configured by Odoo. And you can also see uh, the organizational chart, how the employee uh, belongs uh, to the organization, which means uh, under which uh, team the employee comes under. So let me save this. So under the uh, work information, you would be able to see the organization chart. So the manager and coach of the employee, Apikil Peterson, is Michelle Edmin, and he has in total of six employees under uh, his department. And in order to launch uh, the onboarding, uh, you can just use this button and you can see that we have set a plan as onboarding and you can just click on launch plan. From there, uh, we have currently onboard uh, the employee, um, Abigail Peterson. Now, once you onboard an employee, you need to set certain details like you need to set up the IT materials, like plan training and you need to conduct the training. So uh, let's see how we can mark that as 10. So you can uh, mark 10 once you set up IT materials. So click on that and here you can provide the note. So setup has done or setting up has done. So you can uh, just choose 10. And after that, you can see we have two more to uh, two more intent state. So now we are going to plan the training. So once the uh, training is planned, uh, you can just complete it. So you can just mark it as done. Or uh, we have one more training. So once the training is completed, you can see that we can also mark it as done. So here you can provide the note as training completed. Okay, and yeah. The folder. yeah. So we have just on both the employee Abigail Peterson. So like this, we can also off off board the employee, which means the employee uh, might be uh, going from the uh, organization due to termination or firing or due to resignation. By putting resignation, also the uh, employee can be moved out of the organization so that also can be managed in employee module in a certain situations like uh, the situations can be termination or resignation or firing of the employee in such cases we off board the employee so off boarding can be also done here so in order to do the off boarding you can just click on signature request uh, because we need to get uh, every assets of the uh, organization from the employee so here you can choose the document that to sign. So while we terminate an employee or while we, uh, when our employee put a resignation, uh, we uh, need to just get the signature of the employee into a document. So you can choose the document over here. So uh, currently, Abigail Peterson has terminated from the company. Uh, employee. Uh, so we can choose the employee document as employee termination PDF. And after that, we also need to set a signed request option of the employee, which is the employee rule. So here you can choose uh, the employee because employee need to uh, give the signature. And after that, you can send this. So once you send this, you would be able to see uh, every details over here. And uh, you can sign this document. So both the um, yeah team leader or CEO and uh, the employee need to be uh, put sign in this uh, termination, uh, I mean employee termination contract. So you can uh, just choose sign the document and here you can just click to start everything. So here uh, you can set the details. So yeah, let me choose the uh, all other details.
So here you can set the amount of the employee and here you can change the name because it's not Abigail Peterson. It's, um, I mean, it's Abigail Peterson, not Michelle. And afterwards, you can just choose the date and you can just get the signature of this person. Now, we also need to make some addition for the employee. That is, we need to put the date and here also we need to get the signature of the employee. So, in order to get the signature of the employee, just drag and paste this field over here. And you can make a signature. Uh, so, we need to edit the signature because here uh, the employee will be uh, yet. I mean, putting the sign. And we can just give this sign. After that, if you want to set the sign for this particular field only, you can choose sign. Then here you can see, uh, we can also set a date. In order to set the date, you can use this field, text field, and you can set the date over here. So let me set the date over here. Everything else is done. Now we can just validate and send this completed document. Now if you want to view the document, it is possible to view the document with all the details that has filled. Uh, so here you can see the company signature as well as the employee signature. So you would be able to see every signature right now then from this side. Now let's back to the employee and let me choose the employee. Afterwards, you would be able to see. We can uh, see the signature over here. So under the signature, uh, you would be able to see the signature request of the employee termination. And in order to do the offboarding, you can just click on launch plan and you can choose the plan as off board and finally you can just click on launch plan so currently we uh, can see that the employee is off board from the organization once an employee is on board then we need to take back the materials from the employee so you can just uh, off board an employee by marking it as 10 so just keep it as mark as 10 and compute out all other details so currently the employee is off board. The onboarding and offboarding activities occur at the opposite ends of the employee's uh, life cycle. So organizing a systematic process is critical when employing new workers and letting them depart a company. In the employee module, Odoo guarantees an all-in-one package software solution for maintaining employee-related information. So hope this concept is clear for you and thank you for watching the video.